All right, everyone, how's it going? This is a quick video about a mod that is included in Anniversary Edition. That should be one of the first things you do in game, no matter what build or play style you have. We're talking about Golden Hills Plantation, which is a farm that will give you not only a home with full crafting facilities, but more importantly, over 1,000 gold each and every day as a passive income and this is a real game changer. This can be done right at the beginning of your playthrough and I've recently uploaded a new Ultimate Start video showing you how to get this, amongst many other things, straight from Helgen at level one. So you're more than welcome to check that out if you like. This is a pretty comprehensive guide that will show you how to get and set up your farm and I'll also show you how to overcome a common glitch uh, that you may well encounter. So anyway, let's crack on. Okay, before we start, we'll need a few things. If you're starting your first or new playthrough, go and watch my Ultimate Start Guide, which will get you everything you need starting from Helgen. Uh, for the rest, you will need the following. 38 blister warp, 16 iron ingots, one corundum ingot, five straw, one pickaxe, 12 quarried stone, and 21 firewood. The straw and pickaxe can be bought at a general merchant. The pickaxe can also be bought at a weapons vendor if the merchant doesn't have one. And the quarry stone and firewood you can get on site free, so don't worry about them. Now, once you have all that stuff, head over to a blacksmith and craft two hinges, one lock, three iron fittings and seven nails. Uh, just a quick FYI, you get 10 nails each time you craft them, so don't craft them seven times like I did. Now, this is important. This quest is more than a little buggy. So I'd strongly recommend you go to Rorikstead to discover it, then fast travel back to somewhere far away, say one of the cities. It doesn't matter so long as it's out of the farm cell make a hard save and only then fast travel back to Rorik's Head to begin the quest. Okay, so the farm is called Golden Hills Plantation, which is an abandoned farm east of Rorikstead that you get by a quest. And you can start this by either keep asking an innkeeper for work until they give you the bounty quest Restless Spirit or you can go straight to Golden Hills Plantation itself, which is what I would recommend. The quest itself is very easy. Just head east out of Rorikstead a short way and you'll see the farm. Now, as you arrive at the farm, a ghost will attack you. After dealing with it, read the uh, torn page next to the body of Irvin. Now it's just a simple question of uh, following the quest markers. So go inside the farm, head on upstairs, and you'll find a journal which you have to read. And once you've read the journal, just head back downstairs to the laboratory. And there's a secret button. And activate that and head in, and as soon as you've gone in, you'll be attacked. Okay, just kill the ghost. Head back into the laboratory. And read John Kill's journal. Now head back upstairs into Rin's room and underneath a bed you'll find a Rin's journal. All these are a little worth reading obviously. And then simply head outside and head straight just to the right of east towards that tree on the hill. And the chances are you will be attacked by walls up here, so uh, be prepared for that. And there you go, just deal with the walls. Now. 
I pick up Rin's uh, toy sword and place it on his table in his room and there you go these should appear okay so that's done however there can be a bug here uh, I'll just explain now as far as I can tell the glitch seems to be happening when John Kill attacks you for some reason sometimes she will not appear and so the quest can't be completed and this is a reason why we discovered Rorik said then travel back to Whiterun or any city and did a hard save so if there's an issue simply reload the save and do the quest again now if John Kill, John Kill's ghost still doesn't appear and sometimes she doesn't reload the save and wait 12 game days outside the cell I'd suggest somewhere like White Run Solitude, Winterhold or go somewhere and sleep uh, wait the 12 days and then go back to the farm this should give the game time for the quest to reset completely and this works for me every time now Blister War is key for this little money maker and we'll be needing 38 of them. For people just starting a playthrough, I would again suggest you watch my ultimate start video where I show you how to get tons of them. Anyway, your first quest is going to be to plant 10 crops. Don't bother with that, just plant all 38 plots straight away. It's a really clunky process, so you might as well just get it over and done with in one hit. Your next task is to hire a steward. Now, anybody who can be a steward in a half-fire home can be a steward on this farm. I always use Fandel as I pick him up in Riverwood, but you can always sack him or use someone else and replace them uh, if you like. Uh, sometimes this glitches out and the dialogue doesn't appear, so simply have them follow you into the farmhouse and then the dialogue should then reappear. Next you'll be asked to hire farmhands. Before you do this I would suggest you go to sleep for a day and then ask Fandale for the day's profits. I don't think it's that much but it should help cover the cost of the farmhands which is 500 gold. These people greatly improve the farmer's profitability and are essential to get. Okay, so now we have to build an animal pen. If you remember, we gathered all our materials and crafted all those bits and bobs early on, but we were shy of firewood and quarried stone. So we get that now and head on down to the windmill where you'll find a wood axe and chop 21 firewood. Once that's done, right next to the wood chopping block, you'll be able to quarry stone. Now we finally have everything we need, so head up to the farmer's workbench and build absolutely everything. That's animal pens, apiary, blacksmithing workshop, uh, do the exterior decoration, build a farmhand bunkhouse, a stable, and finally upgrade the windmill. So we're now tasked with buying livestock, so head over to speak to Fandel and purchase a cow for 300 gold, a couple of goats for 200 gold and a few chickens for 100 gold. Now if you like you can buy a horse for 1000 gold but be warned if you have a wild horse as soon as you ride this new horse your wild horse will head off to where you originally found it. And also don't forget wild horses have twice the health and stamina as a stable horse. And finally we have to furnish the farm Now it seems wise to me to make the farm pay for itself so head away from the farm cell for 10 days I don't know, go to a city uh, personally I always go to mere watch and sleep for the 10 days I actually do think it's possible to sleep in the farmhouse for this uh, but I always leave the cell and once you had your little nap head over to the farm and speak to Fayendale and you're asked to collect the day's profit. Now after 10 days of uh, napping, um, you get over 10,000 gold. That's not too bad. 
So, nice little thing, you've got to head over to the pantry and you've got to take something out of it. Or at least open the pantry anyway. And that's it, A Farmer's Life for me is done. Now head into the laboratory and grab all the ingredients and books and everything lying around. All the potions, absolutely everything. Literally leave nothing, because this will all disappear when you upgrade. And once you've collected all the stuff lying around, go and find Fandel and ask him to buy new furnishings for the farmhouse. You've just had a nice juicy payout, so you can afford everything. So do just that and buy everything. Uh, kitchen for 750, dining area for 500, alchemy and enchanting lab for 1000, a loft for 500, uh, master bedroom for 750, though I'm confused between those two. Then you have a choice between a children's room uh, for 500 and a library and display room for 750. Okay, before you jump into this, you must bear in mind that this farm does get attacked by wolves and dragons uh, from time to time. So if you want to get married and adopt children, there could actually be an issue because even though your children can't be killed, most of your spouses uh, can. And I strongly suggest you keep this place as a business and find a safer family home. So my advice would be to go for the library and display room. Okay, so after all your hard work, what can you expect? Well, the most obvious thing is an unlimited passive income that will ease your way through this game unbelievably. And you'll be as rich as a rich thing in no time at all. All you have to do is to remember to pop over every now and again and pick up all that lovely gold. And you get a great player home with all the crafting facilities. But is it a great home for the family? It is possible for you to make your wife or husband the steward. And as I mentioned, you do have the option for room for the sprogs. And in theory, it should be a great family home. However, and it's quite a big however, there are dragon attacks at the farm and wolves are prowling around. So whilst the sprogs are untouchable, your husband or wife may well not be. And you could well end up as a single parent family. My advice would be to keep this as a money maker and find somewhere safe for the family. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. See you later. Love you. Yes.